Hello everybody. Today I'm going to share the story of Titch. This is Titch by Pat Hutchins. Let's turn the pages over. Oh, there's a little bit of a clue as to what this story is about. Even by looking at the shoes, the different size shoes. If we've got any cl other clues what it's about. It says Titch by Pat Hutchins. And you can see lots of clothes on the wash line. Some very small clothes here, aren't there? These are looking bigger. Titch was little. That's Titch. It's very little, isn't he? His sister Mary was a bit bigger, and his brother Pete was a lot bigger. Pete had a great big bike. Mary had a big bike. And Titch had a little tricycle. He's behind them, isn't he? He's following them up the hill. I like the way he's waving to him. He wants him to hurry up, I think. Pete had a kite that flew high above the trees. Mary had a kite that flew high above the houses. And Titch had a pinwheel that he held in his hand. Just a tiny one, isn't it? But it's still spinning round in the wind. Pete had a big drum. Mary had a trumpet. And Titch had a little wooden whistle. He's blowing that, isn't he? Just like Mary's blowing the trumpet. Pete had a big saw. Mary had a big hammer. And Titch held the nails. He's got them in his hand, hasn't he? He's helping by holding them. Pete had a big spade. Mary had a fat flower pot. But Titch had the tiny seed. Can you see the way he's holding his hand out? It's quite hard to see, but right on his hand there are the seeds little tiny seed. And you know what happened to the seed? Titch's seed grew. Just a little bit there, tiny bit it's grown and grew. Now it's grown taller than Pete even and grew. My goodness me, what an enormous plant. I do like what happened to Titch's seed, do you? Bye bye.